OK, let's move on and talk about Manchester United and in particular Alexis Sanchez. He moved over from Arsenal and he, when he was at Arsenal was uh, the, the big fish, wasn't he? He was the man. Mm. He was the man that scored the goals. He was the man that everybody picked out, especially Mesut Ozil. He's moved over to Manchester United and something isn't clicking. What's not working for him? Uh, I, mean, I, think it's the, I think it's the pressure. I mean, when he was at Arsenal, it, as, as Steve said earlier, he was, he was the top man at Arsenal. Everything sort of went through him. Plus, you could try things at Arsenal. You know, you could flick a ball here, flick a ball there, and if it didn't come off, you were playing next week. That ain't the case at Old Trafford. You know, with Mourinho, he's, he's you know, you, you see him when he, when, when he was at Chelsea with Hazard. You know, if you're not getting back and you're not following the fullback back, you're off or you're not playing next week. That didn't happen at Arsenal. You know, he'd done that out of when he gave the ball away. I think he's behind the eight ball. I think he's struggling at, at Man United. They don't make as many chances as Arsenal. Arsenal are all out attack. You have a shot, we have a shot. That ain't the way they play at Old Trafford. And, and I, I think he's struggling. I really do. I think Ozil made him look very good last year. And I say that in... Ozil didn't run around and Sanchez did. And if you, if you was talking with people and you was in a thing, you went, what about Sanchez? The first thing you'd say is, coin enough, work hard. <laughs> well, you know, you yeah, should work hard right. anyway. Um, when you look at what's happening with him, he hasn't scored a goal for almost six months. There's a real How drought long? going on. Almost six months. Wow. There's a real drought going on. He should have got in that team of the year. <laughs> that one really shocked you, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Uh, how, do you, how do you get yourself out of this? I mean, it, like Paul says, in a team of superstars, it, it seems like he's drowning a little bit. I, th and I think that's the, the mental side of it, you know, and you look at... You look at the dressing room uh, and where he is now at Manchester United, obviously we said, we spoke about earlier about him being Arsenal and the main man and dictating how they play and, and probably how, how things are run in the dressing room and now he's gone to Manchester United and he's not playing well. Mm. So, I mean, me and Mercer have been changing where you're, you're one of the lively souls of the, of the dressing room, but when you ain't playing well, you sometimes mm. tend to sort of yeah. sheep away from it a little bit and then until you, until you pick up a bit of form. but. Uh, but th th for me, it was the whole scenario of the transfer as well. I mean, you look at him at the back end of his Arsenal career, he sort of t seemed to couldn't wait to get, to get out the door. You know, mm. the, the, the goals that he was scoring, the team, sometimes he wasn't even celebrating with, with, with his teammates. So then the Man City thing came up in, in, uh, in January and it didn't come off. And then it seemed that Manchester United come in and did he really want to go there? And, you know, we all know with, with Jose Mourinho, his signings are always for here and now. You know, and, and he bought him, I think, purposely for the Champions League, which obviously didn't go to plan. And from from that 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 moment on, he's slowly sort of gone downhill. Is Alexis Sanchez disillusioned at Manchester United? Uh, I, it doesn't look like he's enjoying it. He looks a bit lost at the moment, but that could be confidence. I, you know, I, I couldn't believe what you just said six months nearly without a goal. Someone who's supposed to be that good, that's a long time as a, as a, a forward attacking player. But it's all his stats are down. You look at, you know, his distance covered, he's running, he's shooting, mm. uh, he's dribbling, everything is, is, is all down. And that, that is a sign of mental side of it and, and confidence is, is, is huge. Yeah. Mm. In 17 appearances, where he started 16 of those, he scored two goals and, and four assists. Just to give you an example of, of how different that is, and that would have been unheard of at Arsenal. But is that the difference between the teams? The, the, I mean, you mentioned Meza Ozil. Mm. Do you think that a lot of his scoring ability came from the, the, the unlocking of Meza Ozil? Yeah, I, I think that was one of the reasons. But when, when Arsenal play, you know, you watch Arsenal play, they just go gung-ho. It's like, you have a shot, we have a shot. And, We'll see how this game turns out. And that's not the case at Man United. At Man United, there's a structure and it's right, we'll make sure we don't get beat first and then we'll go from there. And that's why I think he's finding it difficult. I mean, at Arsenal, it was just free flowing. It was, you know, it weren't successful. Well, of course it weren't. They never, you know, they never won anything. What sort of effect is this having on the team? Because when, when he came in, when Alexis Sanchez came into Manchester United, he's now keeping out other players. Mm. So how negative is this going to be on the, on, the, on the members that he's keeping out? Uh, well, that, that's the problem, you know, you, you're keeping out a young talent in, in Rashford. Yeah, but then Rashford played last week at, in Europe and he didn't really shine, do you know what I mean? It's, you know, Mourinho then has a case of going, well, you never really turned it on in that game. It is a problem of paying a lot of, you know, giving him big wages. I, I don't know if Man United wanted him, I think it was a... There's nobody else around, we'll take him, so Man City can't have him and I think it's backfired in a way, in my opinion, but... You know, he's a goal away from 
yeah. probably being special again because confidence is a horrible yeah. thing. You know, he's moved as well from London to Manchester. You don't, you don't know. I don't know if he's got a family and if they're not settling. And and that 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 all becomes hard. You come home and, you know, if it's your wife or your girlfriend are not happy, and that takes its toll. Mm. So. You, I don't want to be too harsh on the lad because you just don't know what's happening away from the ground. How do you fix this? How does Jose Mourinho um, take a hold of this and, and fix this particular situation? Well, I was looking at his stats earlier on. I don't think he's, he's completed one ninety minutes this year. I mean, you look at Saturday against Wolves, they're one all, and he drags him off after an hour. Mm -hmm. I mean, For losing possession too much? For losing possession too much, but you're thinking, you know, the Sanchez of old, they're, they're the games that he comes alive. You know, I mean, I've, again, I've, an insight plan against him. He's one of them players that you, you, you get no time on the ball. He's hurrying, he's chasing defenders, he's chasing midfield, midfield players. He's even working back. I mean, sometimes you see him Arsenal working back and, mm. and, and, and chasing back strikers in his own box. So I think Jose will want to play him and he's sticking with him. He, he wants to get it out of him, uh, but it's not coming. And, and, and what you touched on earlier with the Rashfords and, and Martials, when they... When they don't start getting their chances because he's sticking with him and he's still not playing. That's when it starts getting a bit poisonous in the dressing room. Yeah, and that's the problem, isn't it? Is, is the reaction for the other players and how he fits in with that. And you look at the lead table, we saw it a minute ago where they are on the lead table. It's not the, the best start to the season that Jose Mourinho would have wanted. But could you still call them title contenders? No. No? No chance. Why no, that? too far. Too far behind. What are they? Eight? Eight points. Seventh, I think it is, or is it eight? Is it? Eight points. We can, eight, we can seven. pop it up. They've too many. <laughs> they've got eight points. Eight points, that's too many. Well, that, that's, that's Liverpool got to lose three, three football matches for them to catch that. Mm. So if they don't lose them three and maybe another two, that's five. That means Man United have got to go to, and only lose two more games to the end of the season. I mean, that's... There you go. So, Look at it there. So, yeah. in seventh place... I mean, they're looking, they're looking for a top four eight place top. now. That's how quickly it's turned around at Old Trafford top four place, that's what they're fighting for. You know, Arsenal just reeled off four on the trot. You know, Chelsea have, have started well. You know Liverpool and Man City, it's going to be out of them too. I, 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 I think they're fighting for top four. Paul Pogba came out and criticised tactics after the game. Mm. He, he's very vocal. We know that we've seen that so far this season especially. Do you think that that is a, a sign that there are cracks, especially between him and uh, Jose Mourinho? Yep. But why? I mean, you look at how good Manchester United was and how they, they dominated English football, nothing ever came out of the dressing room. In, in teams that, that mm. Mercer's been in, you know, victorious teams and squads, whatever's, it's all in-house, in isn't it? It's yeah. all done in the dressing room. It never comes out. And when it does come out, that's when cracks appear and then, you know, it, it's not, especially for a club of Manchester United, I mean, it's, an, it's embarrassing. So you don't it's a bit disrespectful. If I'm being honest as well. I mean, you know, this is a top draw manager. I mean, he's one of the best in the world. Forget about what he's at the moment at Man United, but what he's done over his career. You don't need a player coming out and, and questioning the tactics. I mean, it's hard to be a manager, and to be a great manager is even harder. And he's done that. And I know the lad's won World Cup, you know, but. He's still got to show the manager respect. You can't be saying that. We've, we've seen this a little bit before with, with Paul Pogba a couple of weeks ago as well, with his agent being quite vocal yeah. on, on Twitter as well. I mean, how, how will Jose Mourinho control this situation? Because does it signify that there is a lot more player power than, than there used to be? Yeah, of course it is. You know, uh, just going on Pogba, uh, we'll stick on him as well. He, he, like, for instance, Saturday, when he comes out and says that, I think, right, well, what's happened after the game? You know, as Mourinho dug a few out and, and dug mm. him out, especially, and he's just gone, I'm not having this. I'm not having mm. And he's come straight out. He's obviously heat at the moment. Someone's got a mic under his, mm. you know, under his mouth. It's a loaded question. He just, and he just goes bang. But I mean, I've, I've been in dressing rooms with, with Mourinho at Chelsea and I've seen him dig the John Terry's, the Balak's, Lampard's, you know, big characters. And, and, and they just took it on the chin and went out and said, right, I'll, I'll, I'll perform and show you what I can do. Well, Jose, Jose in his press, uh, post-match press conference said that his players only gave 30% and he actually credited the Wolverhampton players and saying, you know, that's the sort of spirit that, that we want. And, I mean, uh, the, the teams that Jose has managed in the past, especially some of the best Chelsea teams, did that used to get the best out of them? And do you think it's not really working anymore? It, it, it's different players, isn't it? As Steve just said, when, you, when you're talking about Ger uh, uh, Terry, Lampard, Balik, you know, these top draw players, top draw players, and they go, right, bang, you know, next week I'll prove you wrong. I'll prove you wrong, not 
go out and then start going, oh, the tactics are wrong, this and that. I think it's, it's, I think it's a lack of respect. I think it's a lack, a lack of respect and, you know, he's a World Cup winner, so... You know, he'd probably do what he wants. Mm. OK, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> he probably can. You know, he's a World Cup winner. Does he want to be there? I ain't sure. Where are you going to go after Man United, biggest club in the world?